Hello guys and welcome back to this new video. This is going to be a quick update of what I did here and there between university stuff. As I said, I was a bit busy, but now I have more time to work on the game. So let's just don't waste time and let's get started. So lately I've been focusing on modeling some islands to start giving shape to the world. Uh, I tried some different shapes. I started by drawing them on paper and then model them. And it took me a bit longer than I'd like to admit to figure out how to model them. Uh, you know, my model skills are trash. It's public knowledge, but I'm pretty happy with the result and um, yeah, I'm gonna keep going toward this direction for now. Right, uh, you can see the models on Blender and uh, how they look in the game. The base of each island is going to be static mesh, while terrain parts, flora and creatures are going to be dynamically generated and the position of each island is going to be random as well. Actually, the position of islands is not gonna be 100% random because some of them only spawns at certain altitude and conditions but i will talk about this in another video um i also want to have a lot of variety in shapes terrain types for farming you know with different fertility if you don't know what i'm talking about then probably you missed the last video and if you want you can go watch it so yeah i will be modeling many islands and try to make them as different as possible with islands modeling i also started creating some different types of caves like this one this is a nice place where to hide from a hostile weather or let's say you're running from a big creature, then this is the perfect spot where to hide and why not use it to place some stuff, wait for the daylight or sleep or whatever. Another thing I'd like to add are canyons, which are cool to have in desert islands. They actually create a nice atmosphere and uh, having some caves that goes through them is also not a bad idea. These canyons might have different types of rare materials, but you gotta watch out because a hostile creature might be there for bigger canyons, you know, to act like sort of a guardian. The concept is similar to Minecraft canyons, so yeah, more rare materials, but more danger. For the atmosphere, I think sound effects here are going to be really important, as well as the lighting. Well, this was a spoiler of one of the creatures I will be working on next. I'm going to announce a challenge on Discord where I create a creature each week or so. So make sure to join our Discord server to be part of this challenge. And of course, you can suggest me anything you want. We already did the 30 days challenge where many of you suggested me new items that I added to the game. It was really fun and... Um, I think it's a really good way to make you part of this game. All right, so my next goal now is to have a trailer and finally create a Steam page. So what I will be working on next are creatures, sound effects, art in general, and uh, different biomes. And for this video is everything. Uh, I'm sorry if I haven't uploaded for a while. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And beside that, have fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video.